Hello everyone and welcome. A while back we discovered that Harbor Freight started selling Jackery portable power stations. At that time, I told you guys that I would find a comparable power station that was just as good, if not better than the Jackery at Harbor Freight and for a better price. Well, after searching around, I came across this unit. Today we'll be looking at the NextPow 296 Watt Hour 500 Watt Peak Portable Power Station. This unit is better than the Jackery unit sold at Harbor Freight in many ways as we will discuss. It also sells for a better price than the Harbor Freight offering. So this unit has more features, more power, and a better price. What more could you ask for? So let's unbox this puppy and see if it lives up to what it promises. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. All right, so let's see what we have here. Here's a shot of the box for you. There is the portable power station, the YP300W. Let's open this puppy up. All right, guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. Now, this is an XPOW 296 watt hour, 500 watt peak portable power station available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this unit retails for $212.49. But they do have a $20 discount coupon on their Amazon page, so you can get it even cheaper than that. So what do you get when you unbox this puppy? Well, you get the power station itself. You get a 12-volt connector for power in or out. You get a USB-C charger for power in or out. You get a 12-volt charger for powering up the unit. And you get a 110 wall outlet right there, charger for powering up the unit itself. You also get the owner's manual that tells you everything about the unit. I suggest you read through that and get yourself informed. Now the dimensions on this unit are very compact. You're looking at 9 inches by 5 inches by 6 inches. So very compact unit. And the weight on this unit is also very lightweight. It only weighs 7 pounds. And it has a nice little leather or vinyl strap up here at the top, which is more comfortable for carrying it around than like a rigid hard plastic one that can dig into your hands and get uncomfortable over time. The warranty on this unit is 12 months. Now this unit is powered up by a 296 watt hour, 80,000 milliamp lithium ion battery. This unit has two 110 volt 60 hertz outlets, 300 watt continuous or 500 watt peak pure sine wave power. And the outlets are right here on the side for your 110 power outlets right there. And don't worry, I'm gonna give you a lot more close up shots of the unit in a little bit. Right now I'm just going over the specs so you can get informed and know exactly what this unit can do. This unit has five USB ports as you can see right here on the front. It has two USB ports that are 5 volt quick charge 3 amp, has two standard USB that are 5 volt 2.5 amps, it has one USB C PD 3.0, which is 5 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt, 15 volt, or 20 volt 3 amp 60 watt power. This has also a one DC output, which is 12 volts to 16.8 volts 10 amps. And these are on the side over here, the connectors for the 12 volt and for the wall outlet and everything else is right here on the front for your standard USB chargers. The unit does have an emergency light which is over here on this side which I'll show you in a little bit. And that emergency light has four modes. It has solid white so you can use it as a flashlight. It has white SOS so you can use it for emergency. It has yellow light which gives you a softer light if you don't want to have the harsh glare of a white light. So you have a solid yellow light or you have a yellow SOS light. So you have four different choices as to what lighting you wanna get. Now this unit has a comprehensive control panel right here on the front, which I'll turn it on for you in a moment and show you some of the things that it can do. But the control panel can give you a lot of information. It can tell you the remaining power, the charging status, the discharging status, the AC output status, or the DC output status. This power bank can be charged up by a wall power unit, a car DC unit, or solar power. The solar power input can be anywhere from 15 volts to 24 volts, 60 watt to 120 watt solar panels. This unit has protections built in such as short circuit protection, overcurrent protection, overcharging protection, and over temperature protection. So this unit's great for power outages, hurricanes, emergencies, camping, outdoor activities, 
charging your cell phones, tablets, drones, cameras, fans, mini fridge, etc. Pretty much anything you want to do during a power outage or just going out and having fun on the outdoor activities. Now the Jackery on the other hand, like I said, this unit is better than the Jackery because if you compare it to the Jackery sold at Harbor Freight, the Jackery costs 280 bucks at Harbor Freight and it's only a 400 watt peak and 290 watt hours. The Jackery only has two USB ports where this one has five and the Jackery only has one 110 volt port where this one has two. The Jackery also has no light whatsoever so it doesn't help you to light up your situation when there's a power outage where this one does have a light to help you. So let's take a little closer look at this guy so you can see everything that it has close up and then we'll do a little bit of testing with it and see what it can do. All right guys, so you can see right there, I plugged it in, the unit had no power when I received it. So I'm basically gonna charge it up right there and you can see on the control panel how it tells you that it's charging DC in and the power that it's getting or basically that it's building up internally. So it tells you how much power it has. So the control panel will give you a lot of information as we will see later. Later on so I'm gonna charge this puppy up and then we'll come back and do some testing when it's fully charged up all right guys let's take a little closer look at the unit so you can see some of the different features that it has I charged up the unit partially I didn't want to go too far because I want to be able to show you some of the things that this control panel can do and so forth so like I said you see the control panel right here it gives you a lot of information as it's happening as to your power consumption and how much you have etc etc you have all your USBs right there and to turn them on all you do is press this button right there and your USBs are now active press the button again and they're off now if you go to this side right here you can see right here your two wall outlet 110 120 volt outlet right there that is your on off button to turn the entire unit on and off that's your DC in right there and your DC out and for your DC in you can use your regular wall charger that comes with the unit to power that up that has a connector right there that you plug into there or you can use your cigarette lighter if you want to charge this up in a vehicle or something like that you can use this guy and you can also use this adapter that comes with it and you can use this for power in or power out because it has right there the end the adapter that you can use to plug it into this unit either in or out so that works out for you perfectly in that way you turn it around to the back that's all the specs on the unit right there if you want to pause the video you can look at the specs more closely and see exactly what the unit has now if you turn it around to the other side then you can see this is a flashlight right here now you can turn it on solid white or solid yellow and turn that off or you could have it blinking white or blinking yellow your choice so in the case of an emergency or if you're out camping at night or something like that you can use this as a flashlight to light up your way or if you don't want it too strong you can have it yellow your choice the jackery doesn't have any of this and then you have ventilation up here on both sides so there you go now let's do a little bit of testing and let's see what this guy can do all right guys so here we are looking at the unit and i have it plugged in with power going out and power going in because i want to show you the information on the control panel right there how useful it can be to tell you basically what's going on with the unit when you're using it so i have a couple of different things plugged in here on the ac ports on the side i have a drill and i have a light bulb which i'll show you in a moment i also have the dc power going in charging it up and as you can see right there dc in 50 watts going in and AC out, we'll see in a moment exactly how much power I'm gonna draw with these two things that I have plugged into it. Now remember, keep in mind, this is not a super duty, heavy duty power bank. This is only a small little power bank to get you through a couple of tough things where you have a power outage or you're out camping. Like I said, when you're powering up your cell phone, tablets, a little fan, a mini fridge, your drone, things like that. It's not meant to be for powering up your entire house or anything like that when uh, you have a power outage during a hurricane or something like that. For a larger situation, you would need a larger power bank. But this is a very small, compact power bank. I mean, look at it. It's just a little bit bigger than my hand. It's very small and very lightweight. It doesn't weigh hardly anything at all. So it is a very small, compact little power bank for things like going out camping. You want something lightweight. You don't want something really big and heavy and bulky. So don't expect this to run like a household refrigerator. It does not have that kind of power. All right, just bear that in mind as you're looking at this unit. So anyway, so let's give it a little bit of a draw right here so we'll be able to see what's going on over here. 
And here we have a light bulb and we turn it on and you can see the power draw right there. It's not a lot because this is an LED light bulb, so it's not going to draw a lot. So I have a drill right here. Let's turn this puppy on and see what it does. And you can see right there how the power consumption changes as we put different draw on it. Now let me take off the power going in because I know you're going to say, well, you're powering and charging it all at the same time. That's not fair. Okay, fine. I totally understand. Let me unplug it. And now we have no power going in. It is only at about half charge right there. I don't want it to be fully charged because otherwise I can't demonstrate anything. So half charge right there. Let's do the same thing again. No power going into it right now. So we put on the light again, turn it back on. And there you go. And you see about seven watts of power being consumed right there. Turn on the drill again and let's see what it does. And there you can see again, it tells you very conveniently how much power is being drawn from the unit. And you saw I held both those units without any trouble whatsoever, the drill and the light bulb. That's why I said you could use this for like a mini fridge or a little fan, a portable fan, something like that. Definitely powering up things with USB over here, whether it's a drone, camera, anything else like that that you want to do because the USB is going to consume a lot less power. The AC is definitely going to consume the most amount of power. So let's go on from here. And I'm sure some of you guys are wondering, well, can I use this power bank to charge up batteries for my power tools and so forth? Well, here we have it. Here is a battery charger that I have for a 20 volt power tool. As you can see, it's plugged in there. Here is the 20 volt battery. I'll plug that in right there. You can see it's charging right there. And there you see the power consumption over here. So there you go. You can charge up your batteries on the go for power tools and stuff like that if you're outdoors somewhere and you need it for some reason. So 20 volt batteries, no trouble at all being charged up by this unit. So there you can see it right there. There's your battery consumption right there. It's charging it up. All right, guys, and here we are outdoors, and I'm having to shoot this at an angle because I'm getting a lot of glare. The sun is very bright out here. But anyway, I have it hooked up to a solar panel, and you see it's charging right there, and ranges anywhere from 1 to 3 watts. You see the power light right there. It's being plugged into the solar panel, which is right there. This is a very small solar panel, and you can see all the wiring right there, and this only puts out a little bit of power. So right here, it's only putting anywhere from 1 to 3 watts. So you can see it can be charged up with a solar panel, no trouble at all. All right, guys, there you have it. As I promised, I found you guys an alternative to the Jackery power station sold by Harbor Freight. If you want a compact, lightweight power station that you can use for short-term emergencies or on the go when you're out camping and enjoying yourself outdoors where there is no power available, then this is a good unit to look at. If you're looking for an alternative to the Jackery power station and you want a power station that has more power, more power connectors, and a cheaper price, then this is a good unit to look at right here. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.